Hovitec. Just a button away. Hello guys. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Swift Backup to backup and restore your Android apps and data, including call logs, messaging, and others. So Swift Backup is an Android app that allows users to backup their applications and their app data, their contact list, call logs, and the likes. It also has, it has a cloud integration, supports roots and non-rooting forms. It also has batch operation for easier backup operation. So for this tutorial, I will show you how to use the app to back up your Android apps. So the first thing we need, we need to do is to download Swift Backup. So as you can see here, I already have Swift Backup downloaded. So you download Swift Backup, then you open it. So on the welcome screen, you have two options. You can sign in with your Google account or use the app without the Google account. The advantage of signing in with your Google account is that you will be able to use the cloud backup features. So instead of backing your apps locally, you can back it up in your Google Drive. So, but for this tutorial, I will not use Google accounts. I will use, although I will show you how to use it with the Google account also, but the first part is to show you how to use it without the Google account. So, you click continue. Then you grant all permissions. So, if you have root access, you have additional backup features like backing up your app data, your Wi Fi settings. So, as you can see, this requires root access, but we are not going to use that because we don't have root. So the first, if you want to back up your apps, the first thing you need to do is to click on apps. So you are going to see a list of your installed app. Then you click on batch actions. You click on backup. So you see all your apps. If you want to manually select it, you can just untick it like this. Then you can select which apps you want to back up. So let's say I want to back up these three apps and if you want to back up system apps you can just click here app backup setting show system apps so it's going to show you all your system apps also so as you can see system apps are being shown so you just tick the apps that you want to back up then you click on backup option so for this part, you have the option to back up the APKs, data, external data, and the expansion files like the OBB file. But because we don't have root access, because for this three parts, data, external data, and expansion, we, we need root access to do all those. So as we don't have root access, we can only back up APK and app media file. So, I'm going to select device as the backup location. Then you click backup. So, you wait for the operation to finish. So, as you can see, backup is complete. As done. So, the next part is for me to show you how to backup with your Google account. So you can just come here. Click sign out. Then you go back to the welcome screen. So you click sign in with Google account. So it's going to tell you to select which Google account you want to use. So after that, you have your Google account signed in. One thing you should know is that if you are going to be using your Google account 
you can if you back up your apps you can only restore the apps and data on a device that has your google account signed into it so if you don't have if you have a, if you are going to restore this backup on another phone that you don't have that particular google account signed into it you won't be able to restore the file because they are encrypted so if you want to back up your app you click on apps go to batch action backup and select whichever app you want to backup then you click on backup option then you, as you can see select whichever one you want to back up apk that's why if you have root access you can you can select this other tree but we don't so if you want to back up into the cloud you can select that also but one thing you should know is that cloud backup to require you to subscribe to a premium plan so if you click backup you click got it so you select which accounts you want we have our google accounts connected already so you can also use any other accounts like your mega p cloud yandex so we're choosing google drive and you click connect service so your account is connected successfully so you click on cloud backup as i told you before this require you to purchase a plan whether the lifetime plan or yearly plan but i won't be doing that so i'm just showing you how to do that so you go back so i'm backing up to my device then you click on backup so as you can see backup is complete so you go back so if you want to back up your messages call logs and others so you go through the same process click on messages and you allow switch back up for some permission access to your content and to view sms messages so you click on create backup file then it's able to show you all your messages file then you can just click on backup and that's that so likewise call logs wallpaper so you can back up your home screen and large screen wallpaper also just follow the same process so basically that just how to use switch backup so you, let me show you where to see your your backup files so you go to your file manager so to internal storage the root folder you are going to see it there swift backup so this is where all your files are because you can copy this folder to your pc or you can also upload it to your cloud for easier access so like i said before remember if you are going to use swift backup with your google account you have to also log in back that google account if you are going to restore it because the backup files are encrypted with your google account so you can use this on another device that does not have your Google account sign into. Also remember that if you are going to back your backup or restore your app data and device, to require you to have root access.